Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing about a few dental terminologies like what is homodont, heterodont, monophyodont, diaphyodont, polyphyodont, acrodont, pleurodont, thecodont, what are all these terms? So um, that will be discussed in this video. Also, if you want this PPT, then I have uploaded this on my website. You can go check out my website. Uh, the link for website is given in the description box. So now let's get started. So dentition pertains to the development of teeth and their arrangement in the mouth in particular it is the characteristic arrangement kind and number of teeth in a given species at a given age so whenever we see the term dentition what comes in our mind is teeth right dentition is related to the development of our teeth the arrangement of our teeth how the teeth are arranged in our mouth what kinds of teeth are there how many teeth are there that is the number of teeth present at a particular age or in a given species also morphophysiology of the teeth is also studied in dentition morphophysiology means the relationship between the shape and form that is the morphology how the teeth looks its shape and form and its function that is the physiology so first let's start with the two terms that is homodont and heterodont as you can see in homodont there is a word called homo homo means single so the homodont are those organisms that have all types, all same type of teeth. Only one type of teeth is present in homodont. And the heterodont are those organisms that have different teeth. So here we have heterodont. Heterodont means many. So the heterodont includes many types of teeth like for example incisors, canines, premolars and molars but the homodonts show do not show any such morphological differences in teeth homodont have single type of teeth heterodont has many different types of teeth the example of homodont is non-mammalian vertebrates so all the vertebrates that are not mammals are homodont that is they have only one kind of teeth whereas heterodont example is humans you know that we have four different types of teeth incisor canine premolars and molar so we so our teeth are heterodont if you look at this picture this is a reptile versus mammalian dentition this here you can see is a homodont dentition all the teeth are only of one kind that is seen in reptiles whereas here we have heterodont that is we have different types of teeth canines incisors premolars and molars this is a picture of a dolphin skull here you can see all the teeth are exactly the same only one kind of teeth are present in here so this dentition is homodont dentition now let's move on to our next terms that is monophyodont diphyodont and polyphyodont here you can see mono mono means one so a monophyodont is an animal with only one set of teeth that grows continuously throughout its life so in monophyodont we get to see only one set of teeth throughout the life of that animal the example includes platypus sloth walruses seals narwhals dolphins and most toothed whales whereas die means two so this means that two types of teeth occurs in the life cycle humans and most other mammals are diaphyodont, down which means that we have two successive sets of teeth so we know that first our baby teeth come right which are also known as deciduous primary or milk teeth and after that our adult teeth or the permanent teeth or the secondary teeth come so there are two types of teeth hence human teeth are diaphyodont then comes polyphyodont poly means many so a polyphyodont is an is any animal whose teeth are replayed many times until their tooth bud completely depletes so in poly so in monophyodont only one teeth come only once in life in diaphyodont teeth come twice in life in polyphyodont the teeth are going to come many times until the tooth bud is completely depleted 
most vertebrates tooth fishes reptiles are polyphyodonts the only mammalian polyphyodonts are manatees kangaroos and elephants then the other three terms are acrodont pleurodont and thecodont acrodont are the weakest and do not have a firm attachment inside the jaw here you can see the other teeth this is the jaw portion all right this gray portion the one that is being marked in red now is the jaw portion in acrodont you can see that it is just superficially attached on the surface of the jaw it is not embedded you know inside it is not embedded it is just um touching the surface there is no um firm attachment inside the jaw it is just attached on the surface they are superficially attached to the jaw and aren't deep in the bone they can easily be broken of course with enough force because they are not embedded they are just superficially attached this tooth formation is seen in animals like chameleons uromastices frilled dragons and bearded dragons the next term is pleurodont pleurodont teeth have longer roots with weak attachments to the mandible and no socket here you can see that the root area this area is longer in pleurodont but the attachment is still weak and there are no proper sockets pleurodont teeth will regenerate if lost but the acrodont will not so if due to some accident the pleurodont teeth is broken then that teeth will be regenerated but if this happens with acrodont then there will be no regeneration then comes thecodont Thecodont is a morphological arrangement in which the base of the teeth is completely enclosed in a deep socket of bone. Here you can see the root area is completely enclosed or embedded in the bony socket. So this happens in case of humans. So humans have a thecodont dentition. So till now we know that humans are first of all humans are heterodont that means we have different types of teeth that is incisors canines premolars and molars then human teeth are diphyodont which means that our teeth comes there are two different types of teeth that comes in different stages of life and lastly human teeth are thecodont that is these teeth are embedded in the bony sockets So this was all about this video thank you for watching